never seen her before. And yet, I'm the person who handed her the worst day of her life. <laughs> In her story, that's who I am. That's who I'll always be. That's the job. There's gonna be more patience. Someone's kid, someone's husband. Derek was my brother. He was my friend. So learn from this, and you will be better for next time. And he should stay, right? Sure. When you were accepted to this program, I didn't want you here either. I wouldn't have picked you to be a part of my life. It's good that you're trying. You wouldn't be you if you weren't trying to make it work. It means I wasn't wrong about you. I'll see you Monday. Don't be late. In group settings, men are 75% more likely to speak up than women. And when a woman does speak up, it's statistically probable her male counterparts will either interrupt her or speak over her. Cross, what's your assessment? Well, I think Not you, Blake. Has Blake expressed his concern? I just don't understand why you didn't tell us. The call to not get a head CT was a bad call. I should have pushed harder. Hell yeah, you should have. Just find your voice, and when you do, Speak. Need a trauma panel and x-ray and cross them for four. Can somebody page surgery again? She's smart. I like her. And what are we looking for on the CT? We need to rule out bleeding from the liver or the spleen. What's the trickiest part of a partial nephrectomy? Mobilizing the colon quickly to get adequate exposure of the kidney. What next? Pull back on the probe, close map, and wait for the bleeding stop. What's her favorite color? Blue. Her favorite toy? Astronaut Barbie. What grade is Sophia in? Second. First, are you forgetting anything? And uh, order a Titan cross match. I skipped that. Well, let's not skip steps. Dr. Blake didn't tell you to clamp the hilum. I didn't skip a step, and therefore the patient did not die. Don't touch him and stay out of my way. Dr. Gray said monitor. I am monitoring. Make one simple mistake and they destroyed me. And if she were any other resident... If she were any other resident, you wouldn't be talking to me right now. I'm the new guy, so if she's the dead fish, I'd like to know. Our shame can choke us if we decide to let it. I tried to tell you. When? Don't let that happen to you. You're embarrassing me, so just shut up and stay out of it. If you're not ready to fight, the silence will kill you. You have to teach me. Hate me. Yell at me, I can handle it. Are you ready? You froze in the OR. You screwed up this post-op care. Is there any part of this job that you can handle, Blake? Step away from the table. Back off! Get out! They say he doesn't give you more than you can handle. <laughs> I buried her in scut and post-ops. Tell me what you see. Push my coley. Hook in her arm. Find out. Can you do that? Can you do one? I'm not supposed to touch him. You're the neurosurgeon on coal. I identified Coker's point at 11 centimeters. Then what? No, identify and debris devitalized tissue. Go on. Figured we'd be using interoperative micro recordings exactly let's give wilson a break and step on in here he was my patient that's all she's from diller what'd you say just stood there say your words now come on speak up you can't come in here and just take out her wire she couldn't breathe you can rewire her jaw tomorrow morning but right now she needed some air so i got her some damn air now she's a person i need someone to go supervise kyle's head frame i can do it blake go she's a natural neurosurgeon more assured in the OR than any resident I have ever seen. Ray had your bad shepherd even. Shepherd? Bailey gave me the Preminger grant. Never saw it coming. You know who you are. You can stand up to them and have faith in that. Have faith in yourself. You can say no. I would understand. I'm not saying no. Then what are you saying? Tell her to not screw it up. Tell her she can come down here. Yeah, I don't want to do this anymore. I can't help you. There may come a time when I get to have a say, but that's definitely not now. It's like she's a spy for Callie. Was she terrible to you? Not at all. She was great. You are a part of their life now. Your words, your face. So take that seriously and respect the fact that that person's pain is the biggest thing in the room. Was it what I... No, you were perfect. He would have said the same thing. He probably would have even liked her. Thank you for teaching me. It's my job.